Big story at 5 o'clock, calls for change and answers. The family of Baltimore DPW employees who lost their lives on the job demanding the city take action to protect workers. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Nikki Zizaza. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and on WJZ TV. The troubled city Department of Public Works has been under scrutiny. And tonight, the family of Timothy Cartwell speaking out one week after a trash truck crushed and killed him. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is in your corner live at City Hall with what Cartwell's loved ones want you to know. Mike. Nikki Rick Cartwell devoted almost two decades of his life to the city, working for the Department of Public Works for 17 years. His loved ones called him Timmy. They tell me they still know very little about exactly what happened to him, but they do believe it was preventable. We will be here one for another. The families of Timothy Cartwell and Ronald Silver came together in front of City Hall, united in their grief and demands for accountability from city leaders after their loved ones, both DPW workers, died on the job about three months apart. We the family, and I think I can speak for all that are standing behind me, in unity, want justice. Shante Carroll is Cartwell's sister-in-law. One week ago, Cartwell lost his life after being pinned between a trash truck and a utility pole in West Baltimore. WJZ obtained video of the tragic incident that happened in a narrow alleyway. My brother-in-law was not just a trash man. We need for you to step up, do what's right, fix what needs to be fixed. Don't wait another second. Don't wait another minute. Don't wait another hour because we don't know the day or the hour that something can happen, tragedy can come, and this will happen again. The family has questioned whether DPW provided the proper training. It follows an independent investigation into DPW that revealed a lack of safety policies and training for workers after Ronald Silver collapsed and died in the heat last August. The report also revealed retaliation against employees who speak out about unsafe conditions. The city has vowed to fix the problems. None of us knows exactly what happened except for those that were there. And that's one of the things that has to be done. We have to find out what exactly happened. City Council President Zeke Cohen came out to shake the hands of Silver's and Cartwell's loved ones. I don't think it's much to ask for what the price that they have paid their lives. That's the price that they paid their lives. So they can't be brought back. So let's just honor them in doing what's right. Now, the state has an ongoing investigation. So does the city's inspector general. I spoke to her today. She tells me she's interviewed more than 100 people and expects to release her findings in January. We're live in your corner at City Hall. Mike Helgren, WJZ. Mike, thank you.